Hello YouTube, good morning. You see we got another car in here. Pretty nice one actually, but uh, it's a guy from work, it's his kid's car. His kid hit a uh, pole or something with the front bumper right in that neighborhood. Pushed the headlight back and so now the headlight's tilted up. So he wants me to try and straighten it out and I think I'm going to end up actually, uh, you can see the way it looks over here with this groove and this one's all pushed up so we gotta figure out what we gotta do to pull everything kinda back into shape and make it so the headlight will go back down never taken one of these apart before so this is kinda gonna be a learning experience for me I think I've taken a look at it I think first thing I need to do is uh, I take this plastic piece off right here across the front because I gotta pull these little tabs to get the headlight off and then we'll kind of go from there and look see um, looks like on this side the bumpers come detached from the fender so we'll try and reattach that and uh, just try and do some minor repairs and uh, get it back together the way it's supposed to be so let's get after it okay YouTube we got it all apart here now you can see how uh, this dips down like that and this one's well this one's stuck up quite a ways and I'm not sure just exactly how to get that relieved I'm not really a body man but I'll do it if I have to I think what we might try is a little bit of heat and try to reform this bumper here where that divot's supposed to be you can see there's well, you might not be able to see it in the camera but there's a line here where it's supposed to start dipping down and it's supposed to allow for that headlight to sit in there. You'll also see that this part of the uh, bumper support is pushed up, whereas this one is all nice and flat. So I'm going to try and bend that back into shape. We're just going to try and mimic the shape of, of everything in this area on the other side. And uh, this one, this uh, headlight support bracket, you can see, is straight. And this one's kind of mangled up. And the other thing I'm noticing here is that this fender is actually tipped that way. It's like it pushed the everything like so. Whereas this one is all straight up and down. Um, what I've done so far is I got to pushing down on this bumper. And a piece of this bumper pad come out. Um, what these bumper pads are designed to do, aside from just support the bumper is uh, to absorb an impact from the front you know so that and they're uh, real dense foam stuff so when you hit something it'll squeeze together and crush what it's done is it's crushed and broken and so when I started pushing on that the whole thing just kinda kinda went Puh, and dropped out of there so I think we'll just leave this piece out and uh, kinda try and get things straightened up maybe with a little bit of heat on the bumper here it's going to need a new bumper shell anyways. Um, we'll straighten up that and I'm going to try and push on this fender a little bit and get, get it straightened up. Then we'll uh, back the car out, shut the lights off, point it at that door, back the car in as far as we can and basically what we want to do is we'll put that headlight in and we'll just kind of line up the beam on this headlight with the beam on that headlight. There's actually a formula for that and I think it's like 20 feet away you're supposed to be so many inches up I got it somewhere here in the shop but I'm not gonna look for it I'm just gonna since that headlight seems to be alright I'm gonna just try and match up this headlight with that headlight so let's get after it okay we got it kinda where we want it if I drop this hood you'll see that uh, this fenders come away where it was pretty awful close before and uh, this fender's come a little bit closer, which is going to kind of hold the bumper back into place. We still got that piece of pad out of here. What I did is I heated on here, and what's the problem with that is that you'll blister the paint doing that. But uh, I heated on it and used this piece of pipe and just kind of rolled it across and tried to get that, that form back in. Now it's not, I know that it's not down like it's supposed to. What I'm hoping for is that when I put the headlight in, it'll kind of set that bumper back down where it's supposed to be, and we'll be able to, 
to set the headlight at an appropriate location. So let's go ahead and plug this light back in and see how it fits. I'm not going to make any guarantees on this one. I just, I can't. <laughs> be awful hard to anyways but uh, oh you know what I didn't do though I didn't straighten out this piece so I better get that done well there we go it's definitely not perfect but uh, it's about as good as it's gonna get for having the mucked up bumper pad the headlight is no longer shoved back in behind the fender and uh, Headlights no longer shoved back in behind the fender and the headlight is no longer pointed up but It's not perfect. What I ended up doing is taking a screw right back in there I don't know if you can see it or not and actually screwing to the bumper pad Because I couldn't get the bumper to come down enough to keep from pushing that headlight up and the uh, headlight supports aren't rigid enough to hold the headlight down so I'll have to talk to him about getting a bumper in and some paint and we'll uh, see about uh, getting the whole thing fixed front and back. He did a number on the back too. But um, anyways, for now I'm going to finish putting this back together and then uh, I'm going to finish putting this back together and then we're going to back it in here and we'll line up this headlight. Okay, we got the lights off in the shop and turn the lights on in the car you see we got them pretty close <clears throat> not bad but uh, the way to adjust these now I did not see an adjustment for side to side movement but uh, a screwdriver with a T15 Torx bit and there's a spot right up in here you fit that Torx bit and you just Adjust this headlight up or down. You see it getting higher. Was pointed way up in the air, so we're doing better. We just want it down, even with the other beam. And we're looking pretty close there. I think I'm going to like that. So I think we'll leave it there and uh, call it good. Now all we got left to do is drive it on into town and make sure Alan's happy.